Hello everybody. Today I want to show you my latest boat that I made. And I have one 55 gallon barrel drum, four 15 gallon barrel drum, uh, four small igloo coolers, and add a big one in the back. So the coolers, I have drinks, batteries, tackle, and uh, tools. So the difference between this one and the last one I made, the last one was a sit down style. This you can stand up on. And depending on the weight ratio of what's in the cooler or what you're carrying, this within a six screws on each side, I can slide it forward or slide it back to adjust the weight so it's a nice smooth ride. Now the motor, which I have found throughout the years, I really enjoy the motor being in the front. So I got that right there. You can easily reach it from the seat. And the thing that I do not have, but it will be on the next one, I'm gonna do some nose cones to be hydrodynamic. Hydrodynamic, there we go. Hydrodynamic. And it's gonna have wheels on the next one too, so it'll be way easier to, to go back and forth. So, all right, that is the latest boat. First comes the build, then the water. Let's go.
Oh, there you go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'll make you dizzy fast. Try one of these? Yes, please. Awesome. <laughs> All right, let's try. Oh, ah. wow. Feel it. Okay, anyway, no, I love the storage. Uh, let's see, and I can get to the back. No problem. Do a live well. I'll throw all the fish in there. That's good stuff there. All right, and I want to do a couple shout outs. I want to do a shout out to the main man here, the cameraman, uh, his parents allowed us to uh, use access to this uh, beautiful lake here uh, because this is not my property. <laughs> I could not afford uh, to have any property anywhere near here. But uh, uh, thanks to them and I want to say a special shout out to the company that makes these uh, connectors which is Maker Pipe. Yes, they featured me in one of their videos which is pretty cool. And they just normally show different videos on uh, people making stuff with their product. So, and because of that, this boat was so easy to make because of their product. So, cool. Any uh, suggestions? Well, I like it overall. I think uh, the extra storage is very nice. Um, I like the cooler on the back because you can fit a lot more stuff in there and if you catch fish and stuff, that's nice. I like how the fishing pole, you don't even have to make anything for it. Actually, you just use the poles uh, yeah. to prop it in there. It's pretty lightweight before you put it together and without all the stuff in the coolers, it's very you know easy for one person to probably drag into the water. Uh, changes, the only thing I would say is the middle barrel, if you could get that a little higher up so you can resist, the resistance wouldn't be as, as strong when you're trying to move. Um, it was a little difficult getting in, so maybe a spot where it would be a little easier getting in the barrel. So you don't have to like spread yourself across the world to get into it. Yeah, you know I'm a part-time ninja, so I'm super flexible for being an old man. But... Okay. I think you're safe now. Up in a wheelie. This is a fun boat. All right, well, this boat was a ton of fun to have on the water and uh, it's not a speedboat by any means but it does turn turn on a dime which is really cool uh, really easy to make uh, the barrels make it real easy to, to make a boat out of the EMT very sturdy and uh, connectors here great great for uh, so many projects uh, definitely for uh, for boat building and I do like when stand up on it uh, Stand up is more stable when you're not moving, but uh, that's cool, and I love all the storage you got. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. All right. Thanks for watching as always. Take care, and God bless. What did the duck say when he bought chapstick? I do not know. Put it on my bill. Uh, uh. <laughs> I like that one.